So you're teaching brand new. Are you a beginner or your coach teaching a beginner, a parent, teaching somebody who knows nothing about how to hold the shot? We're gonna show you a couple of really simple things that are gonna make a huge difference and accelerate your throws training. So check it out. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Throws Nation. In today's video, we're gonna talk about another thing on how to hold the shot, but we're gonna talk about it for super ultra beginner throwers. So today, I have my trusty helper, Ella Johnson, and what she's gonna be doing is we're gonna be showing her how to hold the shot properly in hand. So one of the things we're gonna do is, is we walk through and we kind of show Ella how this works. So one of the things we're gonna look at is when we're looking at this, we're putting it up on kind of the knuckles and notice where the thumb is. The thumb sits here. A lot of times young throwers put the thumb on the side of the shot. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to put that shot put up on your knuckles. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show our young thrower how to do it. So she's gonna hold the, hold the shot put and she's gonna put it, see how it sits there? Yeah, exactly. Now look what she did. She naturally created that little cavity here. She's got her thumb behind the shot and her fingers behind the shot and she's going to be developing her hand strength so she can learn how to flick the shot off. That's going to be a really important thing that you want to learn at the early stage of a thrower. So now notice how she's got the shot. So you're doing a very good job. Now it feels hard when it's out here, right? Okay, so watch. Put it right up here on your neck. Easier? Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's called the shot put because we're not throwing the shot. We don't ever want to do this. And notice again, just that little adjustment by keeping the hand in the right position, the thumb automatically fell in the spot. Notice how she's got it here. She's got a nice hand position and we want to keep those fingers a little bit more here so that the pinky's a little bit more like that. So now it's going to push off of these fingers, those three fingers, okay? And so what she's going to do is put it in her neck and what we're gonna do is teach her how to get the elbow out, and that's gonna make a huge difference. So now that she's doing this, you can see that we really quickly taught her where does that shot go? Center of that shot goes on those fingers, and then that, when she pushes it up in the hand, it becomes more of a natural position to wanna to put that thumb behind the shot. Now, one of the things she's focusing on is where does the elbow go? So now I'm gonna have her stand sideways, and so now you can see, so if we're looking, we need to start teaching her how to get that elbow kind of back. And this is gonna be the thing. So we're gonna pull her little shoulder blade back. And now when she pulls that here, whoop, okay? So you can see how it, it's falling because she's not used to this. So Ella, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna hold that shot like this, and then you're gonna put it in your neck and you're gonna kind of chicken wing out like this. But look at my arm. My arm's not here, my elbow's back here because we're gonna be getting our elbow behind the shot and we're gonna be able to push, okay? So what you wanna do, sweetheart, is you're gonna do this. You're gonna feel it. See how your wrist has to sit more like that? See how I kind of curve her elbow? And now you're gonna shove that sucker in your neck hard. You gotta press it. Boom, you gotta push it in there. Now, see how she's turning her wrist? This is gonna be the common thing. This is why young throwers tend to come out with the shot and they don't know how to push. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have her hold here, okay? And again, notice what I'm trying to show you. So you see where we're trying to get her elbow up and her wrist sit like this. So see how you're gonna have to push? So that's what you wanna feel. So see where your wrist position is? Now pull the shot into your neck like that with your elbow there. But see how as I start to pull her in, she wants to drop this elbow and turn the hand like this. The hand position in the here would make her want to throw it like either basically a straight up motion because you have to have the elbow behind the shot. So this is why we're trying to teach her to keep the, this part of your arm needs to face the ground. So you do this. There we go. So let's try that again. So you're going to pull as you pull, we're going to turn the hand sideways. We're going to pull it in much better job. Now she would be here. The crease of the elbow is facing down. Now, when she puts the shot in her hand, she should be able to push the shot. And what we're going to do is we're just going to push it and we're going to push it up right here. Okay. 45 degrees. We're going to just kind of get it right there. Okay. So let's give it a try. And what we're going to do is come over here, keep your abs tight. Okay. And what you're gonna do is put this foot forward, put this foot over here, over here. Yeah. Yep, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just turn your hips this way. So turn your foot, get your knee up, okay? And we're just gonna try to put your arm like this and you're gonna pull and you're gonna push that shot put up in the air, right? It doesn't have to go far, just push it up in the air. 
Nice job.